I'm Dr. Erin Went Hornicle, a clinical instructor in anesthesia and pain management. I'm board certified in anesthesia and pain management and also certified in veterinary medical acupuncture. Recognizing pain in animals can be extremely challenging, and it's our job as members of the American College of Veterinary Anesthesia and Analgesia with additional training and certification in veterinary acupuncture to identify even subtle changes in our patients uh, that can be signs that they're experiencing some discomfort or pain. Some signs that an animal is experiencing discomfort may be behavioral, such as decreased activity, an increased tendency to snap or bite, changes in performance, or an unwillingness to perform a certain activity. Other signs may be more obvious to us, such as an overt lameness, a dog walking on three legs instead of four, for example, or a hunched body position, a lack of appetite, lack of self-grooming, or changes in bathroom habits. There are many potential causes of pain in animals. Uh, some can be related to age, such as osteoarthritis. Others may be related to musculoskeletal or neurologic conditions. Unfortunately, pain is often a component of malignant diseases as well. Our chronic pain management clinic here at UW Veterinary Care is here to help. We have a team of experts that are trained in both assessment of pain and the treatment of pain. One of the first courses of action that we might take is starting the animal on a pain medication if they haven't already been getting one. Others may benefit from a change in medications, an increase in dose or dosing interval, or the addition of a different type of pain medication. Every individual animal is different and can respond differently. Just like you, just like people, if you pull your friends, some will swear that Advil is the only over-the-counter pain medication that works for them, while others will swear by Tylenol or Aleve. In our animals, it's important to find the medication that achieves results and increases their comfort level. Injectable pain medication is another option that we can use for patients, both before and after surgical procedures. Injectable pain medications can be administered intravenously, or they can be administered as a local block, where we inject a numbing medication directly into the area that's being worked on, similar to what you might experience at your dentist's office. One example of a local block used frequently in this hospital is an epidural. An epidural is performed by injecting a pain medication into the space around the spinal cord. Epidurals are performed when an animal is already under anesthesia, and the most common reason we use epidurals in this hospital is for something like a hind limb orthopedic procedure. Another course of action might be a more non-traditional approach, such as acupuncture. Acupuncture is the placement of very thin, sterile needles into the skin and sometimes deeper tissue. We use it as a tool to treat many conditions, including chronic pain. Acupuncture can be very effective for the treatment of musculoskeletal or neurologic conditions, such as osteoarthritis or intervertebral disc disease. Additionally, patients with medical conditions, such as inflammatory bowel disease or feline lower urinary tract disease, can benefit from the treatment of acupuncture. Many times these patients also have pain related to their condition, so while acupuncture can focus on treating their medical condition, it can also focus on treating their pain. Sometimes it takes us a few appointments to uh, really set them at ease and um, make sure that they know that they're being seen for their benefit. Some patients start off the appointment extremely nervous, but after a few appointments or after a few minutes, uh, they often calm down and accept needle placement uh, actually fairly well.